What's good, everybody? It's your brother, Mad Black, the most toxic, most dangerous black man on the internet. And I'm the brother who told you to leave those weirdo white boys alone, but you didn't listen. Now he's run off with you before his court papers can be served. And I'm black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. So the actor Ezra Miller is out here wilding again. Again, folks. And I'm going to talk about this because it doesn't seem to be penetrating to the mainstream media. Like there's certain outlets talking about it and mostly it's social media. But for the most part, mainstream media is not covering the story the way they should because Ezra Miller is, he hits the trifecta. He's a white male. I think he's a Jew. And he's also uh, part of the LGBT community. So that that's a trifecta right there where I guess he's completely untouchable when it comes to talking about his depravity and the nasty things that he does. I'm not saying that he does these things because he is those three things, but I'm just saying those three things are giving him cover right now. Okay. The fact that this man, and I'm going to call him that because I've seen some people calling him a young man. He's not young anymore. He's old right now. But the fact that they're giving him all this cover for just one crazy incident after another. And the latest one is apparently he's run off with some girl that he had been grooming since she was 12 years old and probably uh, physically and sexually abusing her. And the young girl, she's actually a Native American because he met her on a damn reservation. I don't even know how that happened. But uh, what's her name? Uh, Tokata Iron Eyes is actually her name. Okay. And she's 18 now. But when she first met Ezra Miller, she was 12 years old and he was 23. So basically, Ezra Miller is doing something that is no different than R. Kelly. But I have not heard anyone make that comparison yet. Okay. He's basically doing exactly the same things that R. Kelly has been doing or that he's accused of doing all these years. But we all come down on R. Kelly. We, we me tooed R. Kelly into prison, and you had all these ridiculous uh, black women pretending that they give a damn about black female victims coming out there to demonize R. Kelly and his music and anyone who worked with him or whatever, right? But Ezra Miller's been out here running wild, like Hulkamania, running wild on everybody. Okay, the first incident I remember him getting caught up in was right before the pandemic, where he was, it seemed like they were playing at first, like he was arguing with some girl at like a, a toy store or something like that, or a department store, and then he just started choking her. And like I said, it seemed like they were all playing at first, and then he, it got serious when he put his hands around her neck. And like I said, that story died down because coronavirus broke out, and once again, he's a white boy. Uh, the first offense he got caught for, you know, it, it was on camera, but people stopped talking about it. it. Didn't get much press time because you know coronavirus riots and everything else broke out around the same time, right? So everyone ignored it. Okay, fine. Uh, next, he was in a karaoke bar, and I believe it was in Hawaii. And I, I don't know if he didn't like the song or whatever, but he threw a chair at some some young lady, busted her head open. Lee cracked her face open. She's bleeding out all over the place. And I think that was the first time he was arrested. They gave him, uh, took his picture of his mugshot. He's always smiling in his mugshots because he, he knows he's white. He'll never get in actual trouble. So in the time he was out for that, he got in trouble again. He had paid, paid his bail for busting some woman's head open. He got in trouble again. He started wilding out at the hotel and tried to break into someone's hotel room, okay? On a, uh, I think it was on a, like a, a husband and wife. He tried to break into their hotel room. And I'm going to tell you, uh, me and my wife did a lot of traveling back in the day. We still do traveling now with our, our, our child. And if Ezra Miller had tried to break into my hotel room, his ass would have joined the Speed Force that night, okay? I don't play that. I'm, I'm very protective of my family. Even if someone tried to break in our house, it's, that's their ass. If someone tries to break into my hotel room, that's definitely their ass. Okay? Their ass is grass and I'm the lawnmower. 
I'm not playing around with stuff like that. So, uh, but somehow he escaped that one. Not just uh, he escaped any type of uh, retaliation, but he also uh, escaped any type of real legal trouble because people were talking about it, but not really, not really talking about it. And like he's still getting movie roles. He got the movie role as uh, playing the Flash in the DC uh, Universe movies, and. I don't even know how he got that role. He, he's one of the worst choices I ever heard of to play a superhero. I don't like his character in there either. There's nothing cool about his character. His character is annoying. I hate that uh, talk a mile a minute, quirky type, whack-ass character. I don't like characters like that. And I definitely don't like him as The Flash. The Flash was actually one of my favorite DC characters, even when I was a kid back in the 80s. And he's, he's terrible as The Flash. The Flash is actually supposed to be more confident and very smart, but I don't know what the hell he's playing. He's playing just uh, he's pl basically playing himself, a neurotic with bipolar issues, and uh, a, a borderline sociopath. That's basically what he plays in the films, and he play he does that stuff in real life and thinks it's cute. Like I said, everyone kisses his ass. No one says anything. He doesn't really really get in trouble. That's why, like I said, before he can even face trial for anything, his ass is out here doing some other crap. So recently, with this young girl, her parents filed a court case saying that he had been grooming their daughter since she was 12 years old, uh, uh, sending her gifts, uh, introducing her to drugs, gave her LSD, marijuana, all types of stuff, introduced her to all types of stuff. And alcohol too. Just the fact that he's given a minor drugs and alcohol is it should be enough to lock his ass away. But uh, they said she's also turned up with bruises on her body. So like I said, physical abuse, and I, I can believe that based on his past behavior with the girl that he busted her head open at the karaoke bar, and then in the video where he's choking a girl out at a damn department store on camera. So like I said, this dude's just been wilding out one incident after the other, but I don't hear anybody talking about him or want to do a witch hunt for Ezra Miller the way they do for black males. Black males get into one incident, and that's their ass for the rest of their lives. Will Smith did one thing, and that was his ass, and they started trying to, the first thing they talk about is taking things away. Everyone has something to say. White, uh, white people, coon-ass black people, everyone has something to say about Will Smith. Right? Ezra Miller's been wilding out for the, the better part of six or seven years now, and no one says anything. Like I said, a few people talk about it online, and that's it. But you don't see uh, many of his Hollywood friends saying anything. In fact, <clears throat> excuse me, the only person who's spoken out about the nonsense that goes on at, at uh, Warner Brothers was Ray Fisher. That was the black, the black dude that played uh, Cyborg. He's been talking about all the nonsense that's been going on, and white people attack him. I got on, what's his name? Uh, what's that punk's name on YouTube? Even, even Van Skyver, that fat comic book artist that is basically part of an alt-right movement, right? And he, he, he has lots of racists and everything else in his, uh, on his YouTube channel. He won't admit it, but I mean, that it is what it is, okay? Uh, but he, he's he been calling Ray Fisher cryborg and always talking bad about him. But when uh, Ray Fisher talked about Joss Whedon and, and the abusive way that he directed films and all the nonsense going on at uh, DC and Warner Brothers Studios, it Ray Fisher has been proven right about the nonsense that's been going on there. And they kicked him to the curb and decided to do a whole movie with Ezra Miller with his punk ass, and he's out here uh, abusing young girls, grooming and abusing little girls, and beating up women and whatnot, and people seem to just love him. Like I said, uh, white male, Jew, and uh, gay, so I guess no one can say anything to him about what he does, but at some point, something's got to be done, because now, like I said, he's disappeared, they're about to serve him court papers based on these grooming allegations, and this fool has just disappeared. No one knows where he is. It's, it's amazing to me how uh, the police and everybody else has all this technology to harass black folks 
They can find black folks no matter where we are doing whatever we're doing, but now they can't find this white boy who is a major actor in several major films. Now they don't know where he is. Okay, so they're probably just letting him run around. He's probably going to do like pull a Roman Polanski, go somewhere else where he can't be extradited. And white people are still going to honor him and want him to do movies and everything else and still work with him. No comment whatsoever. Doesn't matter how many young girls he abuses, beats up, chokes out, busts their heads open, uh, give them drugs and everything else. I thought giving women drugs was bad. This dude's been doing it to a, a child. Basically, as he started out when she was 12. So, you know, I thought that was bad that you said that with Bill Cosby. It's all bad to give grown women quaaludes that they knew that they were taking. But now this fool has been giving a, a young girl alcohol, LSD, and marijuana. That's okay, apparently. And you, you, the fool disappeared and you can't even find him. You folks let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. But obviously, you can see I, I don't like this. I, I don't like the hypocrisy in it. It's BS. And they just let these white boys basically get away with murder. I guess that's that's the next thing that's probably going to happen. He, you're going to find him, and the girl's going to be dead. And then what you going to do? Is this Flash movie still going to come out? I don't see how it can still come out with all the nonsense that he's been up to, but who knows? Maybe they'll make a Flash 2 and a Flash 3 with this devil. You guys let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. Anyway, Mad Black, and I will be back with my foot on these devil's back.